to us With our mouth bridging and collide such and guess it's all <laughs> there's no there's no audio sync this week there's no need just clap it means start for me okay <laughs> I have a very structured <laughs> regimen okay that's like I cannot record a pod It'd I'm already so dealing with no headphones on that's true <laughs> my ears are so cold did you <laughs> this room is finally cold for once <laughs> it is um could you imagine if we you ever guest on another podcast and you're like Oh, I'm sorry. We're we're, we're done. When did we start? Yeah. No, no one clapped to indicate. <laughs> I thought we were just goofing off. Yeah. Oh I, God. <laughs> oh God. Oh no. I just have a mental break in this person's recording. I, I don't know what I said. I don't know what I said. <laughs> I thought we were just. I thought we were hanging out. <laughs> no, we clapped. We were hanging out. No, no we clapped. No, we clapped. No, we, clapped. No, we, clapped. <laughs> we kept wondering why you said all those racial slurs. Well, we're you're gonna, gonna run with this. <laughs> you made the room laugh, uh, so we'll run with it. <laughs> no, please don't. <laughs> this is the only time I'll get to appear on the Joe Rogan podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you keep saying nobody clapped? What does that mean? <laughs> it means nobody clapped. <laughs> you you do the thing with your hands, and yeah. then everything begins. <laughs> <laughs> also we didn't even finish with I'm, I need a gun I don't want to be there like I don't know what all of this is <laughs> I thought <laughs> and then we stopped it and then we started this is just cruel <laughs> yeah what kind of shim sham operation are you running here Joe Rogan <laughs> <laughs> biggest podcast in America fuck you <laughs> do you watch Joe Rogan no or listen to it no I, I watch don't. depending on the guests I uh I don't listen to any like podcasts, man. Are oh, you too fucking hip? I'm just d- too down with it. I don't listen to any podcasts, man. No, not if even I, this podcast, which is now on iTunes. If I want to hear a story, you know what I'll do? I'll talk to somebody. Okay, <laughs> that's great. <laughs> Douchebag <laughs> Matt. <laughs> what was the last time you did that? Never. All right. <laughs> Never. A stranger? No. Well, I was like, because I have talked to strangers. I talk to strangers frequently. <laughs> when I worked in retail, <laughs> I had weirdos talk to me every day. <laughs> <laughs> hey, and I did my time. That's true. You did. You I did my time. So you know. You I've know. heard my fair share. Of, yeah, my wife left me. Yeah. I don't need to know that. Uh, we met five minutes ago. <laughs> so, so is it going to be two boxes of tiles then? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yep. I got you. Mm-hmm. Uh, can you help me bring her to my car? My son, uh, he doesn't nope. talk to me anymore. <laughs> no, he does not. What is the compulsion? I don't know. It's just... It's human connection. But I don't want to connect with you. Yeah, but you are a servant to them, so they have to... They, like, they can connect with you. You're already a lower life form. <laughs> Who are you going to tell? You don't know Bob. <laughs> The guy he thinks might be sleeping with his wife. It's the closest thing to serfdom. That we it, it really is, man. Think about the way people treat retail associates. Oh, they're literally like, human scum. So it, they're like built-in servants that uh, you're, like you don't, you're not. Okay, listen, you're going to Target, so you don't earn a, you don't have a butler, right? Because you're you're at Target. <laughs> 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 yeah. So, okay. so, but it's as close as you get. <laughs> so people really take advantage of that sometimes. <laughs> um. <laughs> Your attar. That's really good barometer for the rich. Yeah. They don't shop. <laughs> like, Never. <laughs> Never. And if they do, it's not a target. No. <laughs> Like um, if you're running through Macy's quickly, but like not carrying your own stuff, like okay, okay, I get it. <laughs> yeah. that's, wow, that person's there's, got money. There's a lot of people you treat like dogs, probably. But even those people are not like the real rich. Not like the stupid rich. The people like the stupid rich don't just they just don't shop. You know? I was uh, they this have is... brought stuff. They have stuff brought to them. Like, exactly. Yeah. I, I was reading this, uh, there was a Reddit thread, it was it was kind of cool, it was like, mm-hmm. billionaires, or people who have known billionaires, how do you live your lives? 
Like, I, what's the day to day like? It's, yeah. And this one guy was like, I was a GC who did some work for a billionaire's property. I, I won't say the name out of respect for the person. They were totally fine, but it was weird seeing that lifestyle. And he goes on to talk about how <clears throat> he's working, and uh, one day the guy walks up to him and he goes, "Hey, do you know anything about boats?" Mm-hmm. And he was like, I, "I mean, I have, I have, like, I, I have been on boats. I've, I, I've, my family owns a boat." Yeah. And he was like, "Oh, okay, cool. I, I'm thinking about buying uh, one of these boats. Uh, what do you think of this one?" And he shows him a picture of a yacht. Uh-huh. Like like a fucking party cruise yeah, yeah. boat, and the guy is like, I, "It's good, but it, I mean, what if you have to leave the party?" And he goes, "Oh shit, good point." And he just turns around and he upgrades to like a model that's fifty million more because it has a helipad. Uh, oh my god! <laughs> he's, he's like he's like in an instant he made that decision and it was purchased before he left the room that's the type of money that this kind of person was just throwing around Jesus Christ! imagine being able to make that sort of decision on just a whim just oh it's 50 million more yeah Yeah. we need it for an event we'll just get it I don't know wow wow (laughs) that's just so much money it's crazy to think about right I hope that like not to get super political I hope that money, like the uh, like, the disproportion of money, gets so imbalanced that we give up on the current concept of money and we just start using things like shim shams. We just make it out of wood chips. And we just re- hit the reset button. <laughs> Could you imagine? Could you imagine if we all peacefully were just like, no, we don't want to. I don't recognize all of it for you. I just don't. I don't recognize that you're that rich. I just don't believe it anymore. Because it's all an idea. Like, because you just imagine, just like, I don't see Jeff Bezos as that rich. I just don't see it. I believe in shim shams. They're made of wooden chips. And they own a bunch of them. I'm the richest boy in the world. (laughs) How much is this this airplane? Uh, That would be 100 million shim shams. Or ten million gluttons, whichever you have. Oh wow! Did you, I didn't realize that this uh, this this uh, part of the re- this region, whatever. I didn't know you took the. I didn't know you took gluttons or whatever the fuck you said. <laughs> that was it, gluttons. <laughs> that would be. I mean, our current con- our current money is based on nothing, just well, money, belief. Money was a very important idea in like human evolution. Oh yeah, because it brought so much order. But at the same time, like. I just like the idea of, could you imagine if everyone just kind of is like, you know what? Fuck it. No. (laughs) (laughs) But that's the thing. It could happen. I have that idea. (laughs) That's one of my, like, you know how, like, a few years ago when The Walking Dead was super popular, everybody was like, all right, zombie apocalypse. What happens right now? Like, one of my, I guess, like, fantasies is like, could you imagine if people just like, no, you know what? Fuck it. Money doesn't, money doesn't, that's not real. Whatever. I identify this as money now. And I'm rich. <laughs> I have the most shim shams. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because I've just, I've recently come to tell you, I'm not, I'm not going to be rich. And that's cool. Oh, God. If they're made out of wood chips, loggers are the new, like, upper class. Right? <laughs> and why not? Why not let loggers be the new upper class? You know? And then I meet a couple of loggers, and they get, like, super weird opinions about women and style. Oh, boy. Oh, okay, yeah. like, oh boy. Oh, boy. not. That's a joke. I don't know any loggers. I don't know. <laughs> what are we? They're in the logging community now? Let's be real. Let's be real. If you do logging... <laughs> Hey man, we're, we're on, sorry. We're on iTunes now. You don't know what what audience we're getting to. <laughs> this is the same one, except one guy was like, "I'd rather listen in the car." <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of nice. I get to listen, uh, you know, anywhere I want now. Yeah, <laughs> I don't have to keep my phone open. <laughs> I never really looked at the podcast anyway. I've been doing that recently. My phone has no fucking battery left ever because uh, I stream a lot on Twitch now. Oh, all right. Uh, and you use your phone to do that? I use my phone to uh, keep up on the chat because I don't have a second monitor. Okay. 
So while I'm in game, I can still look at the chat and interact with people. Oh, all right. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Nice. Um, what what do you play when you're streaming on Twitch? Oh, all bunches of stuff. Okay, all bunches of stuff. Uh, I play some of the Minecraft, some of the League of Legends. People the... like Minecraft a lot. Minecraft is uh, back in a huge way. Now, wh- Minecraft originally came out in like the early two thousand, like the wait, like two thousand eleven, right? I think like mid two thousands. I think two thousand seven or eight. Whoa, really? Uh, no, no, it couldn't be that long ago. I was like, I don't think it couldn't we were be that in long college ago. when that came out. I feel like we were definitely out of college already. We'll find out. Give me one second. Um, I don't know if the, I feel like the podcast has already started, but it definitely <laughs> it came out and then went away and then came back in a big, bad way, right? Now, there is, there's no like Minecraft two or I, I gotta imagine that there's like expansions of some kind right uh actually no they uh, as far as i know have no paid dlc like stuff so, so people far. just eventually picked the game back up well it it came out in a huge way because it offered a lot of different stuff it came out in uh 2009 by the way okay wow okay so yeah. 10 years later 10 years later so this game popped pretty much right away yeah uh, it was a big. It was it was like an indie hit when it first came out because it was like, it was just such a simple concept of like, take these blocks, build stuff, survive, uh, and also the world is infinite. Like mm-hmm. if you keep going in one direction, you'll find whatever. Like almost forever. Yeah. Essentially forever. Yeah. Um. But uh, at a certain point. Like, it got stale, and a lot of people left it, because there wasn't much innovation being done. And then, I um, this is very rare that I'm going to say that this, but uh, Microsoft gained control of Minecraft and Mojang. Mm-hmm. And ever since then, they have been tweaking the game to a point where it's almost unrecognizable from when it first came out. And there's so much more stuff you can do built on the foundation and all these little updates they release, they'll like take a portion of the game and they'll tweak it completely. Like they'll overhaul it. So whereas it was simplified before, now there's a lot more behind it. Like it used to be just the only enemies were like zombies and these exploding creeper creatures. Now they have like raiders who will attack a village uh-huh. and you have to defend the village and shit. And if you do, like it's really tough, but you get a lot of experience and rewards and shit. <coughs> so it's a, it, it, they, they made it really cool. Okay, so the game evolved. Yeah. That's why people came back to it. Yeah. All right. They did a lot of cool stuff. They did two really big updates in a row, and people were like, oh, shit, Minecraft is real now. Because hmm. it's like, I don't know. I feel like one of the uh, few games that you heard about for a very long time recently was uh, Skyrim. Mm-hmm. People played that for a very long time. People's, I, I still see people on, on my Steam playlist just going yeah. through another playthrough. Because why not? Like, um, was that, that game was really like that great, huh? Is the, the thing is, you, could, you can 100% the game and still not like have experienced everything. Uh, that's, uh, that's well, that hard to in say. and of itself is impossible. But. but everything plays out differently. The second time you play through it. You know, if you go through a different area at night, there's different people there. There's different things to see. Creatures are, don't just spawn in one place. They'll randomly appear in certain areas, you know, and, yeah. and and different encounters happen. So each time you play through, it's unique and, and you make different choices and it's it's really good. It's <laughs> really good. <laughs> um, the problem with Skyrim is that they have released the same game about 15 times now. It- now I was going to say the, the the thing that's surprising for me about that game is that it doesn't seem to ever evolve or change all that much. It's just people enjoying it so much. Like, um, but almost every other game that people play a lot, Call of Duty or Halo, for a period of time, or Grand Theft Auto, um, those are always there's always more games. So, but I thought Minecraft was unique and sim- similar with uh, Skyrim in that way. It it is. Uh, there's a there's a there's formulaic re-release games, 
which are problematic in and of themselves, like Madden or the WWE games or Call of Duty, where yeah. there's a new one coming out one every two years. And realistically, any game studio is not going to make huge advances in gameplay no. or anything in that amount of time. You're looking at roster updates, color graphics updates, um, different uniforms, maybe one or two tweaks to like the actual real gameplay and then you really that's it it's that's just it. every like five to seven years madden changes yeah pretty drastically yeah that's it's uh, usually when the consoles change madden changes that's how, because what happens is they have to build a whole new engine to work with that operating system yeah um but the thing that's uh the the thing that's huge with certain gaming companies like uh, Square Enix or um, the developers of The Witcher 3. Uh, oh, God, why can't I remember? CD Projekt Red. Mm -hmm. uh, Rockstar Games, where they will take maybe some elements from their older engine, but they'll overhaul it dramatically, and then they'll start building the game from scratch. So, th like, a decade can pass between releases from these companies. But their the games that come out are games like Skyrim or The Witcher Three or hopefully the one that's coming out Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven, mm -hmm. um, or like GTA Five where you have a game that people can play for a decade and never experience the game the same way twice, yeah. um, and you re release that game in different like re updated versions sure, but you also like you built a game that people are going to talk about as one of the greats of all time mm -hmm. and you'll get your money in that way. Um, but the reason there's so many call of duties and Madden's is because you make more money. You make way more money. Yeah. Like so much more money. <laughs> like, <laughs> like it's crazy. Yeah. The amount of money you make. Well, I mean for the, for the most part, the real money nowadays is the Fortnite model. It's the free to play buy everything else model. Yeah. Because it's a slow burn. Mm -hmm. That's how you drip drab two, three, five, ten, twenty dollars at a time. League of Legends. Yeah. <laughs> League of Legends. Uh I'm that... sure I'm sure like back in the day GTA would have been like sixty dollars for the game and then that's it. But League probably got you for like two grand over the like four years. Not two grand over four years. But in I would say probably I have spent two grand on League of Legends over the course of the time I've played it. Okay. Which has been... 10 years? 10 years. Yeah. Because they're literally their 10-year anniversary stream is tonight. Wow. That's crazy. Yep. 10 years ago it was released. They're doing a whole big event. They had... Uh, you remember Cesaro from the WWE? Yeah. They had him playing. Really? Yeah, he just showed up started playing a game. Okay. It was a weird crossover Cesaro. of events. Cesaro. Yeah. Is he still there in the WWE? Yeah. Okay. He's not doing anything. Just hanging out with Seamus still? Yeah. Of course. <laughs> um, man, video games. Interesting stuff. I never really fell in love with gaming like that. I definitely loved games, obviously, as a kid, but I don't know. It's about comics for me once I got older. That's because uh, you have a, a good life? No. <laughs> no, no there so you don't have to escape. There are no, that's not true. I have plenty of escapism in my life, very much so. Um, most people do. I think it's actually a part of a balanced life is to have some escapism, but just because you choose video games as the way you want to escape does not mean you have a bad life. Yeah, but at a certain point, it's bad like I mean, for me. Yeah, the amount the the thing that's bad for you when it comes to video games is the amount of time spent sitting. So it's physically bad for you. Everything else besides that, I don't really. Yeah, that's fair. That's just. Subjective. I just spend a lot of time sitting. That's because video games, for the most part, do not encourage movement. So anything else is, any other opinion about them, content, a video game, um, you know, whatever else you want to bring into the equation is all subjective and opinion. The thing that's a proven fact is the amount of time you are spending sitting down is that's not good for you. And plus, you know, video games are responsible for all those, you know, psychos. Yes, that's they've pulled the trigger of every mass shooter <laughs> is a, is a video game. 
cunts. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I have to say to that. Oh, my God. I love that, like, we still get to hear that argument. It, I remember hearing that when the Columbine happened, when we were fucking 10. You know why? And thinking, boy, because that's weird. That doesn't really make much sense. Those fuckers haven't died yet. Yeah, it's true. It's the same people. <laughs> it's the same yeah, it's fucking a great point. people. It's for the most part, it is the same people. <laughs> and they had all the kids, and they took all the money, and they'll never, ever die. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, because they have all the creams that makes them not age. Yeah. I think that's a thing. You see people like Paul Rudd and Tom Cruise, and you're like, God, there's got to be something in the water. They know something we don't. Yeah, it's that they never have to stress about a thing in their lives. Oh, no way. They stress. No, they don't. If you had that much to lose, you wouldn't stress? No. You're crazy. You're crazy. I can't lose it. See, if my movie goes bad, you uh, know what happens? I sell my mansion. I take my millions. I yeah. buy a house and I'm fine forever. Yeah, but then you're not as rich as you were. If you reached, I don't know. See, I've recently had a different opinion on that level of fame. Because I saw Will Smith on The Daily Show last week. And he was talking about how he felt like he was in the prison of being trying to be Will Smith. And then for his like 50th birthday, he was like, F this, man. I'm just going to do what I want to do. He said he's been happier than he's ever been. And I was like, God, that's kind of crazy. Could you imagine? And then I was thinking about like Chappelle's joke or bit talking about how cancel culture and how people just want to take everything away from other people if they say something that offends them or that they don't like. So if you are that level of famous or that level of powerful and you do slip up or trip in any way, people do want to take that shit from you. Like you do kind of become in a prison of your own success. And I got to imagine if you do touch that level of fame, you get that level of like richness. Like, I don't know if I don't have to go shopping, if I'm not in target anymore, (laughs) I don't know if I want to just buy a house and go shopping at Target again. Man, I would be so okay with losing it all. I see. Not losing it all. You get no, to say that because you're not on top of the mountain right now. But that's okay. Because at the I bottom d- of the mountain, you're like, boy, I wouldn't mind getting up there and then losing it. Of course. You know what, people? Because that means you got up there. But once you're up there, you're not like, boy, I want to go back down. You know what? You know what people do when they get to the top of the mountain? They party. They go, go- back the fuck down. I mean, the great ones stay up. No, no, they I'm feel- talking about, I'm saying a legit analogy. If you climb a mountain, you come back down after. I yeah, That's what I you guess. do. But I don't know. I think I would be okay. I Like, yes, I have not tasted that success, so I cannot say for sure. Mm-hmm. But I feel like me as a person, if I got... You know, if I got to that level of success where I was making all that money and then all of a sudden it was like, there's no more acting gigs for you, Mr. Burwell, uh-huh. I would be like, all right, toodles. And I would fucking just take what I have, yeah. go back and be a big fish in a small pond for the rest of my, I'm good with that. I got a couple million in the bank account. What do I ever have to worry about again? I mean, listen, that is very <coughs> positive way to go into, uh, this acting career that you're not gonna not into. getting into. <laughs> <laughs> I can neither act you nor am I appealing for the camera. You know how every <laughs> famous actor said, "Don't have a contingency plan." Ned's contingency plan was, "Listen, I just want to make my few million, and I'm out." <laughs> <laughs> just give me a taste. That's all I want. God, I'm not greedy. Listen, let me just get on a couple of sitcoms that go into syndication, yeah. and then I'm going to retire. It's really not a big deal. <laughs> I don't know why you're not letting me do this, Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> I like that you just get to ascend, so you won't want to stay there as if it wasn't hard to get there. Like, I don't mind giving it all up and retiring. No, no, no. I said I wouldn't mind if it happened to me. Like, if I got all of that success and then cancel culture found out, like, the person I really was. (laughs) And, like, every, like, oh, it's done? Yeah, I get it. (laughs) <laughs> like I have to leave with everything I'm not going to say that I got to be honest I'm calling you out on this one because last week the government took away your e-cigarettes yeah and 
this week you're saying you're going to be fine with life taking away you being rich and famous. I don't get the correlation. <laughs> I don't get the correlation between these two things. I'm mad about the state I live in being a nanny state. Okay. Cancel culture ending me. Would I be pissed at cancel culture? Sure. Yeah. But at the same time, like, I still have millions. Yeah, that's true. That's like a good pillow to cry yeah, on. You don't have millions, though. Huh? What if cancel culture somehow gets your millions? No, then I'm mad. <laughs> you don't get to take away my, my Sunday and the cherry. Let me have the cherry. <laughs> it's like, you get the sprinkles, no you get the whipped cream, and you get the vanilla. I get the cherry. All right? <laughs> But like it doesn't it, it it doesn't happen like that like uh man uh one line I really like that uh stands out from an otherwise bad movie The Dark Knight Rises uh, <laughs> uh after Bruce Lane Bruce Wayne loses all his money he goes to his home and Selena Kyle is going through like his stuff. And she goes, well, you lost everything. He's like, no, they're letting me keep the house. And she goes, wow, the rich don't even go broke like the rest of us. <laughs> yeah, I do love that line. <laughs> um, that's and a that's, great Nolanism. And that's so, and that's true. Like, yeah. if I if I went broke at Hollywood level success, I would still be fine. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. Well, they also have that line in um, Wolf of Wall Street, where where at the end he's talking to talk, he's starting to talk about like all of the different cases that are building up against him and and like how he started to really sweat it out and then he was like oh fuck that's right i'm rich and then he just hired a bunch of lawyers and he went to jail for like 11 months yeah and after all the, the white shit, collar jail yeah after all the <laughs> shit he did and he got to keep most of his money and like he's fine yeah just sold his story and, and wrote a book and he's back on top yeah and you're like wow that's yep. they don't even it, it there are no consequences when you have a certain level of wealth that's really i mean that's just kind of like how it's been set up and matt wouldn't care if he got to touch that and then give it all up <laughs> <laughs> didn't say all right i maybe did say i don't care but i'm just breaking your i would be peeved but I, I, would be, I know you would be. I would be. I'm just trying to get you to admit that. <laughs> okay, I would be furious in my satin sheets. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean I'm not going to be in the next movie? Oh, I'll have to go back to my paid for three bedroom? <laughs> I just love the idea of you going from a seven bedroom to a three and you being like, no, no, I'm fine with this. It's more practical. <laughs> Because I know you. Do I get to keep my computer? <laughs> if I get to keep my computer, I'm good. You can't have the hard drive. You cannot have the hard drive. All right, let me ask you this question what? this way. If you, let's say, um, times are tough and you need to get some like money uh, real quick, you got to flip your computer. You have enough to get another computer, but you got to downgrade. How heavy of a downgrade are we talking? I mean... <laughs> Probably more than half of what you have. Because right now you're you're sitting pretty with what your current hard drive, right? Like you got a lot of um, memory. (laughs) (laughs) I have a lot of storage space. Storage, damn it, fuck. Well, it's it's memory. Okay, no, but it's not. It's 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 not not RAM. It's not the way you say it, though. Uh, yeah, I'll take one say... marijuana, please. <laughs> That's what I just said. Most people would say storage. Space, okay, yeah. so you have a lot of storage. So let's say you have more, like, let's say forty percent of your storage. Oh, six hundred gigabyte hard drive. That's yeah. not going to fit like any of my Steam library. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't be able to stream this would be a challenge yeah but now it's money now let's make the metaphor money uh are we talking about okay but no that's not a fair analogy yes it is no it's not because we're talking about pennies to like millions if you say i'm taking away 10 million you're still gonna have 4 million afterwards are you gonna be like shucks 
Yeah, man. I'm, I'm, I'm not, pretty pissed. I'm like, I have four million? All right. Well, I, I'm, all right, because I know. Is, I get, four, is four a lot? Depends on the context. Dollars? No. Murders? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Doctor Who line. It's one of the best. <laughs> is, okay, I was like, that's a really good line. I was like, you did not just think of that. No, it's a, it's a line from Doctor It's the best. Uh, oh, man. David I forget Tennant? his name. No. Uh, Capaldi. The one after him. Capaldi. Capaldi, Peter Capaldi. Uh, it's the best Peter Capaldi Doctor Who line. Mm. <laughs> a lot of people are very eh, on him. I feel like uh, as as a Doctor, I liked him, but the, the problem was he came after four years, five years of Matt Smith. People had really grown attached to Matt Smith. That makes sense. Um, more so than they did with Tennant, because Tennant only got three seasons. Yeah. Um. But people loved the side characters so much on Matt Smith's run, and the writing was really, really good. Mm-hmm. So a lot of those seasons were super memorable. Um, Capaldi's not so much. Is that where Nebula came from? Yeah. Was Matt Smith years? Mm-hmm. I follow her on Instagram. Karen, Karen something or other. Karen Gillan. Yeah. She's she's very funny. She's super weird. And... I, I don't know. It's very cool. I, I do think she's beautiful, but she's very good follow on Instagram. Uh, she got her start there, and so did uh, the time cop, Rick. What's his name? From DC Legends. Uh, Legends of Tomorrow. Uh, Rip Hunter. Rip Hunter. That's uh, that's her husband in the show. Oh, Ro- really? Rory. R- Rory. <laughs> that was, that, was that is such a, uh, I feel like it's such a UK type of name. Amy and Rory. Rory. Amelia Pond. Uh, yeah, you don't ever meet. I've never met like an American-born Alfred or Rory <laughs> or uh, or like a Manus or. Oh man, Manus Ma- is that a name? I feel like it is. Right? Is that a name? Manus. Magnus. 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 No, Mag- you never meet. If someone in here names their kid Magnus, I think like people are like. They would put that them must on be, a watch list. They have old money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. They'd get upset if they lost their money. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't come over on the Mayflower. They owned the Mayflower. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You remember, yeah. It's like uh, if you ever meet someone named like first name is the last name. Mm. Like that. That's that's somebody who's like my, um, I'm, I'm Walters. I'm or something shit. that sounds like it's straight out of 1947. Uh, Ophelia. Yeah. <laughs> If you meet an Ophelia, that chick has money. <laughs> My name. Or that or if they're named something like real obvious. Like, I am them so-and-so wheel. Like, the wheel. <laughs> like, the wheel. <laughs> Good joke. <laughs> this, this is a top quality joke. <laughs> it's a dad joke. The best. <laughs> Sandra wheel. Yes. That wheel. Yes. <laughs> you know. From what, you mean all of them? The wheel. <laughs> Time? <laughs> <laughs> My cousin's Firestone. <laughs> I was about to say, I'm going out with the fires for a mid- midnight drive. <laughs> <laughs> I was more right on the nose. <laughs> <coughs> Welcome to RLF. <laughs> <laughs> right? Um, I'm Nikolai. And I'm Matt. And uh, obviously and unfortunately, um, we don't have Al or Seitz with us this week. Shame. So what you just happened? get to listen to the ramblings of uh, two larger-than-life gentlemen. <laughs> Damn shame what happened to those two. Well, you're talking about the uh, yacht fires, right? Oh, damn it. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> death of an idea <laughs> no wait i can do this <laughs> yeah you, yeah the you, yacht fires what were you gonna say no 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 that's what happened they were on a yacht yeah it was a it was a, a pleasure cruise literally because it was uh, an orgy on oh my yacht. god wow uh they weren't a part of it thankfully wait how was, do you know they weren't they were on um, an orgy cruise they were on they were on an orgy. it was a it was a mishaps of circumstances. They thought it was a, a like a drinking cruise. Okay. Uh, but turns because it was called Bottoms Up. 
Oh. Right? They thought it was a drinking cruise. And I could see how Seich would get an invitation to that type of cruise. Exactly. Makes sense. Uh, so they got there and they were like, well, isn't there egg on my face? Yeah. <laughs> At least I hope that's egg. Yeah. <laughs> uh, they sequestered themselves in their room. Yeah. Uh, but then the uh, the floor that was having the orgy collapsed. Oh, yeah. Wow. In on them. Yes. And that started the electrical fire. Yes. So it was a yacht. See, you read the article. Orgy. Yeah. I read the headline. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Yeah, they didn't really get into the specifics in the headline. No. It was a bit too gruesome. No, podcasters die in <laughs> yacht fire. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I read. <laughs> they really buried the lead. <laughs> you, read about, you read about a yacht fire, you're like, yeah, wow. You read about a no yacht fire on an orgy boat? And yeah. Like, what? Or, orgy boat set on fire. I guess it was a little too hot. Oh my gosh. Yeah! I mean, we solved the crime. It's that we need to take this shit off the air. I'm Horatio. Man, I, uh, when I was a senior in high school, I took CSI or like, I took that as a class. Mm-hmm. And every Friday we would just watch the television show CSI. And I gotta tell you, what a waste of time! Like, <laughs> Sounds like it. What a waste of time! All of high school, I feel like, was a waste of not time. All of it. You, there was a lot. Do you do, see? Okay, not all right. The literal classroom time, for the most part, you can throw a lot of it out. That's what I'm saying. It's the socializing. Yeah. It's oh, like... That's what I was going to say. It's yeah. all about the socialization it's, aspect. Exactly. It's Learning to stuff. take orders. Yeah. Yep. Learning uh, to be with okay with every day being similar, but not the same. <laughs> learning to work in a group. Yeah. Learning that you want to sit next to people who bathe every day. Yes. And that you don't want to sit next to people who don't. <laughs> uh, learning... Uh, you know, that, that type of stuff, of course... But the like the day to day now like in our in our we took a class that was called AccuMath. Yeah, man. It started with third grade math. Yeah, we were seniors. Yep. Yeah, we had to take a refresher for uh, when you took uh, basic math again in college because right. you sucked at it so much. Like, uh, it seems like to me <laughs> the entire twelve years of schooling mm-hmm. that we go through. And then additional two to four, depending on if you're an overachiever. Yeah. <laughs> an overachiever. I would say it's an additional seven is for the overachievers. That, yeah. 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 But like, almost, the 16 years boils down to, here's how to count. Don't kill people next to you. Yep. Listen to what the people in charge have to well, say. Not just next to you, just don't kill people. <laughs> Period. You're not allowed to kill people just for not being next to you. Uh, if you go to the military, they're pretty okay with you killing people. No, no, no. That's different. That's not, different. No. Most of the time, those people are brown. And those people are not next to you. That's okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, that's true. You're uh, pretty much allowed to light people up around the border, too. So. And, and the third is <laughs> learn to take orders from people who are really in charge. Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> Those are the three things that you need to learn. And then also how to, like, talk and, and, and bathe I, and stuff. I don't know. I feel like there's definitely a lot more going on in high school, but... Or in school in general. But I don't... Re- like, if you were to tell me, like, what did I learn in October of my U.S. history class? Like, no. I don't know. It's sorting. I, it's... What do you have a proficiency in? What... Of these things, can you do yeah. for the rest of your life and not kill yourself? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> That's what school is. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> oh, does history interest you? Good. Read books or teach, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> when I was at uh, Comic-Con this year, I was talking to this guy, and um, I mentioned that I was a Mets fan and a Jets fan, and... Um, he was like, yeah, I just don't really have any time for sports. I never really understood it. I don't get it. He was very dismissive. And I was like, I'm pretty sure we just spoke about horror movies and Star Wars and then anime for about two and a half hours. You don't understand baseball 
was like, you don't understand entertainment? That's it. That's all it is. It's just entertainment. Just because it's not your form of entertainment doesn't mean it doesn't, like, exist or it's not... I don't know. I was like, I don't understand being so dismissive there. Oh, it's yeah. just entertainment. But I, I found that very funny. That, to me, has always been the biggest problem with nerd culture. Is oh, is they are the quickest to defend the things they like and, and eviscerate the things that you like. Yes. Yeah. And I'm just like, why, man? Be why? inclusive. Yeah. Instead of just saying, like, oh, that's different and I hate it. Yeah. Like, oh, you didn't dig it? Cool. You know what that means? It's not for you. Yeah, it's true. Put it down and move it on to the next thing. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have to share this. That's mine. And that's your... And that's, that's like... Growing up, a wrestling fan. <laughs> anime fan. I gotta tell you, people to this day... Um, if you are not a person who's ever been to wrestling... Or you don't ever... You've never watched wrestling... If they hear that you like wrestling, they treat and think it differently of you. Oh, yeah. It's like, and it's so weird. It's so weird to see it because <coughs> last year, excuse me, we went to um, WrestleMania and I told my boss, like, oh, I'm taking my dad and my friends. We're going to WrestleMania. And he goes like, you like wrestling? And I was like, yeah, I like, I mean, I don't watch it every week, but yeah, why not? It's fun. And he goes, oh, I just. Oh, I just didn't know you liked wrestling. And I was like, let me ask you something. Do you, do you like hockey? Or do you like soccer? He goes, not really. And I was like, have you ever been to a soccer game? He goes, yeah, yeah, I've been to a soccer game. I was like, did you, did you care about what was happening? He goes, no. It's like, did you pick a team and have fun cheering for the team? He goes, yeah. I was like, so you like wrestling? So I was like, you just, <laughs> it's entertainment. You just like, you pick a color scheme or a wrestler and then you boo and cheer accordingly. And that's it. That's all it is. You're just trying to forget that we might die soon. Like, <laughs> for a period of time. That's all any of it it is. Yeah. Like, what are we talking about? <laughs> Don't be such a judgmental dick. Yeah. Like, is wrestling sillier than soccer? For the most part, absolutely. But it's basically the same. <laughs> uh, did, he, did he soften his resolution? He did. That? He actually kind of understood what I was saying. Oh, it's good. still stupid and childish. Of course it is. Because at the end of the day, let's not like it's grease stuff beefcakes. Like, <laughs> of course <laughs> it's silly. So is Goku charging up his spirit bomb. But for, or specifically the with man. wrestling, it is a lot of naked men. There's a lot of partially or mostly naked men. Hey man, I I'm it's it's fine. Goku's but, fights, he fights a lot of times without a shirt on. Yeah, but it's also, those are cartoons. Uh, yeah. Like, that even makes it worse. Uh, just, all I'm saying is... All I'm saying is there's a little bit of like... <laughs> we're going to ignore the women's division? We're just going to ignore that? Okay. We're just going to ignore them. I guess you're right. I'm I'm wrong. <laughs> Sounds like someone is Women's being wrestling. judgmental. That's true. Women's, there's nothing wrong with it. I just want everyone who watches <laughs> wrestling to admit that they're a little gay. <laughs> I just love the irony of how popular wrestling is in the South. Where it's still not 100% cool to be like open and gay all the time. Hey man, not the, they're well, not gay, okay? They're just fighting with their shirts off. <laughs> I fight with my shirt off all the time. Yeah, you're right. Never get into a tussle with your t-shirt on. <laughs> That's that's a good way to get it pulled over your face and yeah. hockey punched. Oh, I ain't getting hockey punched. I ain't getting no sucker punching in. We fight like men. Bear shirts against the wind. <laughs> I, like to, I like to feel my nipples on the yes. breeze. My Wait, the breeze on my nipples. <laughs> my tattoo package. of a dagger and a heart and a ribbon that says mom. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> my travel tattoo. <laughs> You remember when tribal tattoos were popular when we were in high school? I knew then that shit was so lame. Uh, I, I'm not gonna. Uh, no, you're not gonna get me. You're not gonna get me to go down this road. Why? Because I'm not gonna call anybody's tattoo oh, stupid. Right. I forgot. I always forget that. You always remember, and then because I'm not trying to make fun of you or get you to like. No, I know. Uh, anyway. But I would be a hypocrite. That's true. You do have a lame Everybody's hypocrite. artwork on their bodies is beautiful. Oh, boy. No, it's not. <laughs> Tramp stamps. Those were so popular when we were in high school, too. Hey. 
Listen, I don't. I'm not saying I don't love the memories of uh, taking a gander here and there. Um, it was a wonderful time getting through puberty, but it wasn't always the best artistic expression. I'm just saying, when you own a store, you turn on the open sign. <laughs> Especially if that's what you're promoting. <laughs> Man, that is pretty funny. What would you do? Like, all right, you find yourself lucky enough to go on a date with a young lady. And um, I would have sex with her. <laughs> as long as she... <laughs> As long as she consented, of course. Of if she, of course, no, <laughs> of course. <laughs> no, but let's say at one point, like uh, she drops her handbag or something, bends down, picks it up, and you see tramp stamp. Nice. What? <laughs> that's that's your thought. Nice. It's not. You're like, fuck yeah. Why? Oh, yeah. Why? What's your, what's going through your head? Uh, just uh, nice. You want people to look at that. So now if I get caught checking out your ass, I uh-huh. can just say, oh, I was looking at your uh, tattoo, little, little doohickey down there. Your doohickey down yeah. there. Yeah. That's what you'd call it, a doohickey down there? Well, yeah. Okay. And then she would laugh at my clever wordplay. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I like it. It's a foolproof plan. That's true, because if she just bends over and it's just like a, a small of her back, and you're like looking, you can't be like, nice back. <laughs> <laughs> no, but with a tram stamp, you'd be like, oh, I like the sign on your awning. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> Glad to see you are open for business at one point. Hopefully that sign is up to date. <laughs> Videos on YouTube have a place called the comment section Where people can type out heartfelt and thoughtful reflections Of the videos they just watched Like here at our left on Wednesdays Now the gang will read a few It's really hard to rhyme the word Wednesdays Listen, don't you fucking shit in my mouth and tell me it's dinner time Alright? Ugh, I don't fucking even know what's going on remember you guys too can appear on the show by leaving a comment no you can't you can't appear on the show uh appearing in the same way we are impossible your name read uh the first comment i have is from uh the oh no from uh level x or yeah we i do this every time (laughs) l-e-l vex (laughs) Okay. Lelvex. Lelvex. I missed both Matt and Nikolai. Aw. All of uh, all of the gang together is really where the show shines. Uh, Amino. In my opinion. Thank you. I'm old. Uh, also, Matt, the good video game movie is Detective Pikachu. It wasn't amazing, but it was really good film. I'm really sad I missed Detective Pikachu. I heard it was bonkers, and I was like... I didn't get a chance to go and see it. Yeah. I wasn't going to go to a movie alone. Yeah, I Especially certainly wasn't. Especially not Detective Pikachu. <laughs> Dude, that's... Oh. That's like extra sad. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Hope you all enjoy the movie. <laughs> no, it's... Don't my... talk to my children. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, no, it's that my girlfriend couldn't make it. <laughs> all right. My buddy's in the bathroom. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Excuse me. Next comment I have is from uh, Sarah Leal. Why the F did Matt randomly say, booty, booty, booty? Sounded like Nikolai started giving him a lap dance. Conspiracy comment uh, replied to that comment. Rocking everywhere. Because she's pretty fucking hilarious. Because that's exactly what my mind did when I read Booty 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 as well. <laughs> booty 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 rocking everywhere. Is, I don't remember. I don't remember that. I thought I wasn't on this week's episode. Uh, I don't remember that either. Were we? We weren't there. Yeah, we didn't record last week. It was just Sight Now. No, we recorded. That's, that was two weeks ago, Matt. That was two weeks Welcome ago? Welcome to the podcast, bud. No. You know how I know? Because Tyler... Starts with the last name uh, J, Jen Deriz. Oh boy, Tyler writes. Uh, I 100% agree with you, Nikolai. That a new hope 
is a very boring movie. Now, do you remember the conversation, Matt? I respect it because without... I respect it because without it, we wouldn't have the rest of the films. But God, is that first hour just ungodly boring film? Just an ungodly boring film. However, I will say as soon as they reach the Death Star, the rest of the movie from that point is great. Empire Strikes Back is 100% the best Star Wars movie, no question. Though I'll have... Though... And... Oh, God. And I'll strangle anyone who disagrees. Man, reading. Am I right? (laughs) So, last week, I made the comment saying that A New Hope, a.k.a. Star Wars... Yes. ...is not... I'm remembering now. ...the classic that everyone builds it up to be. I got uh, drugged by the Joker, and I have temporary memory loss. Oh, Thank you for making me feel bad about that. (laughs) Um, very topical but yeah yeah uh i do i do remember that remember um, me saying that correct opinion and tyler agreeing with it no i don't agree i think it was a perfect telling of the hero story or at least the beginning uh, of the tale you know how every perfect tell perfect telling of the hero story begins with a uh a pretty solid boring at first hour I don't find exposition boring, okay? Mm -hmm. I enjoy exploring lore. I'm a dungeon master. (laughs) I want to see the world you crafted. Tell me about that Oh, so your favorite Lord of the Rings is Fellowship, then? Actually, I enjoyed The Hobbits a lot more because they told a better backstory. You're crazy. (laughs) You're absolutely crazy. You're out of your fucking mind. (laughs) No one has ever expressed that opinion before. And the fact that you're saying this he nonsense. Got so mad. I, <laughs> He's so angry. It's, uh, I know what I said was upsetting and right, but what you said was incorrect and and upsetting and wrong. No one likes the Hobbit more. None of those movies. He's so mad. It's so dumb. I'm sorry. <laughs> Why would you say that? I'm sorry. It was a joke. <laughs> it was a little joke, ski doodle. I don't like that joke. <laughs> I don't like it. Martin <laughs> Freeman was better than Elijah Wood. The huh? Hobbit, you motherfucker. <laughs> oh, that's why. That's why Elijah Wood in the Hobbit. <laughs> Listen, I know I upset you last week with my Star Wars opinion. He's Wait, like, Elijah Wood's not in the Hobbit. Yeah, he is. Where is he? He's in the beginning. He's like, uh, oh, like, like biggity barely. Yeah, but still in the movie, or at the very end, one or the other, maybe both. Because he's fucking great. Because Frodo's wonderful. Okay. Oh, Matt. Bilbo's the hero. Of a much shorter, less interesting story. Uh, Tell some riddles in a cave. Kiss my how ass. How many dragons were there in the, uh, in the original f- Fucking uh, more dragons than you can handle, big boy. All right? <laughs> I don't think I could handle one. <laughs> if I saw a dragon and someone's like, handle that, I'd be like, no. Nah, nah, I didn't do that. <laughs> do you have a sword and a shield? <laughs> oh, you do? That's not going to help. I love it. <laughs> I'm still not gonna do it. Oh my god! You should get like a tank. <coughs> we don't have access to a tank, but we might have access to a gun. What type of gun? Just like a big one. Like a, a big gun. <laughs> big fucking gun. A big gun. Yeah, a big gun. Uh, well, I wouldn't want to be there then. Why? Why? Uh, because if there's a gun that big, then I probably need a gun too. And if I need a gun, I don't want to be there. Hmm. 